Okay, well, enough said, all right? You get the point. You always, when you're cutting an onion, you always want to cut a flat spot, all right? So you cut a flat spot, that way you can cut it solidly. So you hit record, then say in three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, but you got to take your hand off once you hit record. Okay. Okay, you just, you make a pretty shot, it's like you're painting a picture, okay. and then you're done. What about the top of your head, is it okay if it's chopped off? No, it's up there. You can't be chopped off. Yeah, yeah. You should chop it, chop me off right here. That way I look skinnier. Yeah, that's. Mimi, you are a freaking genius. I don't know. Like, see, how am I going to cut 50 pounds off my body so I don't look so fat on the arm during the chef show? And like, oh, I'll cut you off right above your nipples. That'll chop off 60 pounds. All right. Are we ready? All right. So, hit record. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so you need a big pot. You got your onions chopped, right? You take your onions, put them in the pot. You take your ground beef. You put it in the pot. You mix them together. You brown them slowly. And what is the most important ingredient always when you're cooking? is you cook with lots and lots of love. So let's see. First thing you do is lift open the meat. Grab it. Just throw it in there. With love. You get the onions. And you do it tenderly. Okay? Like you just you love this. And then you mix it together. And you do it with love. Okay? You throw it on the stove. Take your garlic. Garlic. You throw it in there as well. What's next? Oh, yeah. You got your meat here. So I'm going to cube this. I'm going to do this with love. Oh, you take the oil. Anyway, that's probably about six teaspoons. And this isn't exactly Mexican chili. This is more like cartel chili, okay? This is how they do it a little bit further south of the border. Whoa. <laughs> I almost took a shot of this. And look at how it goes in Cuervo. I don't think... You want to take a shot of this. But anyway, we're going to heat that. And we're going to take these things, mix them all together. It doesn't look like, oh shit. I just broke the thing. Who thought it would be a surprise tomorrow when someone bites in on a piece of wood? It's a splinter in their mouth. Say the three to one. Three, two, one. One. All right, so I threw. Hit, hit stop. Three, two, one. All right, so you put this on. We're gonna brown the meat. We're gonna brown the oil. We're gonna brown the onion. Meat, oil, onion. Brown the onion, oil, meat. I'm not sure. It's just gonna get cooked. That's all we care about. We're gonna take this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk while I do this. This is dangerous. We're going to cube this. And notice how I hold this. So I never cut my fingers. And I'm going to cut off the extra fat. Cut off the fat. Strips. Strip there. Strip there. Hello. Hey, Maria. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, I, I, I'm doing my show right now, and you know I'm, I'm the world famous Sandra the Chef, and I need I need you just to tell the masses just how amazing a lover I really am. Oh yes, many expertise, many techniques, very good. 
right. And uh, just just for the Spanish viewers, because I am I am making um, well, I'm making chili, and that's 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 Spanish, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So for the Spanish viewers in, like, Espanoli, could you sort of just describe... See, I told you, I told you, I'm amazing. Hello? Hello? I think I can sum up what she meant to say in fewer words, and I would probably just paraphrase and say, Mucho bueno grande. Mucho bueno grande. So, anyway, we gotta get back to cooking. Whoa, the stove. Smoke alarms are down. Phew! All right, there we go. <laughs> this is something on the lens. I can't get it off. Let me see. It's white. It's white? It's a spot. I don't see it. Huh. Huh. Uh, it's probably the lighting. It's all right. This is the first show of the season. It's going to be a little rough. We'll smooth out the bumps. Okay. I mean, my mom's already called in. Whoa, whoa. Make sure bueno hot. All right, so you take your hot oil, you take your onions, yeah. like that. Flip them a few times. We got oil going. Whew, it's getting smoky. We'll brown those onions. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to text message for just a few minutes, Mimi, so whatever. We're going to add these tomatoes here. Not really tomatoes because they don't really have tomatoes in Mexico. Pretty much everything just comes in a can. Because, you know, they're, they're in their fresh, freshness. Fresh, mwah. mucho bueno grande. Just like Maria said, mucho bueno grande. This is the beef. This is the, the burger. That you know is strong. And we're going to combine them in a pot. We're going to take a spoon that will not break. Whoa. That looks good. That's the beef. This is my world famous chili we're making. Oh shoot, it's getting foggy. That's not fog, that's juice. That's amazing chili juice. Look at that, see? Amazing chili juice. I'm gonna have to keep doing that all the time while I'm shooting this. But don't show the vignette. Watch this magic. Okay, so we take our beer. Come over here and give us a close-up of the beer and the thing. Okay. More beer. Try to get the top in the beer and the chili. Use one or more packets to taste to add flavors to garlic, casserole, stews, and soap. We're going to empty the herb box into the thing. And it says three cups of water. So, we're going to take a little water steiny. Ah. Let's like so. And oh, I hate to use my woo stuff. If you're going to use a woo stuff as a scraper, use the back side. See how solid that looks? Don't use that side. Okay, so use the back side. That way it won't quite possibly. I think you want to mix it all together like so. So look at that. That is meaty. 